Could you tell us a bit about yourself and what you do? Uh, my name is John Robbins and I am an actor that's been working in primarily musical theatre for the last 10 years, which makes me feel very old, um, in London and around Europe uh, and I like it very, very much. What's your favourite part of what you do? Favourite part of what I do? Um, I really enjoy um, rehearsals and I really enjoy coming up with ideas that maybe people haven't thought of before on how to stage something or how to uh, present something. I really enjoy um, trying those ideas out in front of an audience and then going back to the drawing board and seeing if they if they didn't work, what can we do about it. Um, yeah, I, I, I really like that, that process. When was the first moment you fell in love with theatre? My mother tells this story <coughs> of uh, our family going to a, a local Jewish community centre um, where I spent a lot of time as a child um, and uh, there was a, an Israeli band there and she tells this story and she's got this photo clipping that made it into I guess the Jewish Chronicle or something um, of me as a three-year-old getting this enormous orange, this Jaffa orange which was probably average size but I had three-year-old hands and going to the stage where the band were playing and sitting on the stage under the lead singer like that, and eating it, uh, watching the lead singer. And she knew, she says she knew when I was three that I, that's what I wanted to do because I was so comfortable up there. Um, so I think probably that, although I did go and see Les when I was 12 and thought it was very, very good. But I've done it now, so it's fine. <laughs> what advice would you give your younger self? I think panic less. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a warrior, so I like, I like to think up through every connotation of every possible action and figure out what's going to work, what won't work, why won't that work, why, why won't it work, and if it does work, what, you know, that kind of crap, you can get rid of that. Um, I think panic less and uh, relax more, <laughs> I would say. And finally, if your life were a musical, what would the grand finale be? That is a hard question. Um, well, I'm going to go with the end of Avenue Q. Um, I did Avenue Q, I opened Avenue Q in, in 2006 in the West End, and the final uh, number is, is a number called For Now, and everything in life is only for now, and they list all the things that you go through, both positive, positive and negative, and things that are going to enrich you, and things that are going to depress you, and things that, and they are all fleeting, and they are all transitory. So. I would say that's a lovely message and it, it's, it's bolstering that knowing ever, that this too will pass, that kind of idea. Um, so I'm going I'm to go with that one. Also I had the last line in the show and then a blackout and the applause, which is always nice. <laughs> that's great, thank you very much. Thanks.